Hey guys, welcome to the Windows Remote Tools tutorial class. So in this video, we will be learning what are the new tools. Like we will be checking the WinRM and the WinRS. So what are these tools and what they do and how they provide the remote uh, management towards any Windows server is the key concept in this video. So to let get started, uh, Windows 2012 R2, uh, basically Windows 2012 R2 has got around 300 new features compared to the previous version of 2008, 2008 R2. So one of the most important features was something called as Win Windows Remote Management or WinRM. So WinRM stands for Windows Remote Management. So what Windows Remote Management does and all these things we are going to check. And the most important and the most important thing we need to know is something called as the RPC. This is called as Remote Procedure Calls, which was used. This is a protocol that was used in the previous Windows versions like 2008, 2003 and 2000 server and they have replaced this entire RPC protocol with Windows RM. So what Windows RM does is, see, before we delve into in depth on that, even if you have um, never heard about RPC, uh, changes are that you are going to use it for years. RPC job is to allow one program to talk to another program even if those programs are running on a different computers for example if you have ever started up outlook to read your emails on an exchange server instance then you have used an rpc uh, it's how outlook can tap exchange onto the scheduler and say can i have your can i have my email please or if you have ever used MMC Snap-in, um, Microsoft Media Management Console Snap-in, so you would have already realized that like uh, services like uh, the DNS, DHCP or the computer management to remotely control those functions of a remote computer from your desktop. And uh, if you have done any of these things, like you have used RPC. So RPC is a remote uh, protocol which talks to a different program from a different program. So for example, in Windows, you have a program, you need to talk to a different program and recall some subjects or objects from that. So you basically use RPC, that is remote procedure calls. So RPC is a protocol that has provided much service over the years, like from 2000, um, server 2000 to 2008 R2. So it served a decent number of years in the service, but it has one big problem. That's the most interesting part of this training uh, video. It's very hard to secure. The security for RPC is very less. So it's not at all secure. So Microsoft invented RPC back in the days where um, you know, there was no internet and and the vast majority of the lands extended no further than the distance from the first floor to the top floor in an office building. So security wasn't all the big uh, concern. So years later, when security became a big concern, Microsoft tried to retrofit the security onto RPC protocol, but it did not work properly. So um, in, in the XP, uh, whereas uh, Service Pack 2, uh, they, they tried a couple of changes, but um, that point, um, you know, what we can say, the horse was out of the barn, like uh, requiring RPC security would just end up uh, breaking hundreds or perhaps thousands of RPC dependent applications. So that was a challenge that Microsoft faced in er early 2010. So when they, they when they were uh, trying to launch uh, Windows 2012 uh, Server Edition, so 
Clearly, the time had come to change in how Windows programs talk to each other. So Microsoft decided to adopt a protocol that did the same thing that RPC did with a few changes. So it's not a proprietary, but uh, a standard based uh, and platform independent that there are similar implementations popping up on um, mainly on the Linux and the Mac OS. So they, they have noticed all these changes in uh, Linux and Mac OS with how their programs are talking to uh, a different program and collaborating with, with a, a very secure framework. So they noticed all these things and uh, it's a modified form of HTTPS like WinRM is a modified form of HTTPS. So we know HTTPS uh, is a secure protocol uh, for web pages to talk. So WinRM is derived from HTTPS protocol and it's a communication uh, basically when it's talking from, for example, let's take the example like Outlook to Exchange server where we are talking about the client and the server architecture and when Outlook talks, uh, the communication between the Outlook and the Exchange is encrypted in WinRM. So that's a great advancement that Windows has done with WinRM compared to RPC. So it requires authentication to use. So basically when uh, a client like Outlook talks to Exchange, uh, there, there is a handshake as well as an authentication mechanism which is done through OAuth. So that's a different topic we'll cover in a different video. but. Uh, there, there is a secure um, authentication done between the client and the server in order to exchange information. So components of Windows 2012 R2 that use Windows RM um, include event log collections, the ability to use um, the new server management snap-in on the remote service and on my uh, on uh, any of the favorite uh, um, favorite is uh, a secure remote uh, command shell called as Windows Remote Shell or WinRS is basically used. So if you if you need a secure a low bandwidth a remote control tool um, like look to uh, WinRS. So we are going to delve in deep into the WinRS that the remote shell uh, where we can actually uh, use Windows um, the CLIs or which we call it as um, the CMD tool or we can use the new version of uh, Windows PowerShell to get uh, the remote management of other systems and other programs in your network. So I hope this video is informative to you and thank you very much for tuning into this video. For more videos like this please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.